I'm Jen Presher from the University of California at Irvine. We developed new imaging probes to look at various features of cells that have been hard to see with other types of probes. And so we've developed many classes of both um, imaging sensors and microscopes and new platforms to be able to see metabolism in action. This is a new imaging technology that my collaborator Michelle Digman and I um, have uh, developed that sort of merges our expertise both in bioluminescent probe development and spectral phaser analysis, which is a way to easily deconvolute multiple emitters or light emitting probes in a given sample. And that's particularly needed in the field of bioluminescence where probes tend to have really broad emission spectra and it makes them hard to tell apart in cells and tissues and so forth. And so being able to track you know, features over long periods of time, like where cells migrate, you know, of looking at signal um, networks and looking at cellular features over long periods of time relevant to aging, relevant to, you know, cancer metastases. These are all things that are ripe for study with bioluminescence where um, the, the technology, the platform is, is, is really well suited for looking at things over um, a broad sort of time and length scales. It's uh, giving us a new vantage point to look at biology in ways that we haven't seen it before. And I think we've probably learned more about biological systems just by watching them than any other approach. And so having new tools and techniques and platforms to see stuff is very valuable in terms of you know, providing you know, new discoveries, new, new questions to ask, which then lead to the, you know, the need for more tools and probes to continue pushing further and seeing what we don't know.